All right, this is Billy from California. What are your thoughts on the 270 WSM for elk? Why is it not more popular? I have found the 270 WSM to be deadly on elk and deer and moose and uh, caribou. <laughs> what else have I taken with it? <laughs> well, moose and elk are enough uh, to tell us how deadly that thing is. The 270 WSM is just a faster version of the 270, obviously. Shoots the same bullets. Um, it's not quite as fast as the 270 Weatherby Magnum. It might be 100, maybe 50 feet per second. We're 100 feet per second slower than that. But that is another great 270 that's really going fast. So consider it a Magnum 270 Winchester. And as anyone who's used the Winchester a lot, the 270, knows that cartridge can pretty much do it all on North American game with the right bullet. I mean, it's just darned effective. Reasonable recoil, flat trajectories, blah, blah, blah. You just consider the 270 Winchester on steroids. Yes, the 270 WSM will do just fine on elk. Obviously, you want to use the right bullets. That's always the case with any cartridge. So match your bullet up both to the velocity you expect uh, and the size of your animal. You might want to go with a 150 grain bullet for a moose or an elk. I have taken moose in a WSM with 130 grain bullet. But it was a hard, controlled expansion bullet. Put it behind your shoulder and did the job. So, uh, yeah, why isn't it more popular? You know, one of the bigger reasons is that lawsuit that they had. There was a gentleman who had sort of created that 270 WSM case. I don't know if the dimensions were exactly the same. And he had actually showed it to Winchester and tried to get them to buy the patent that he had on it. And Winchester, understanding that, these designs have been around for ages and no one really ever gets a patent on a particular cartridge design. You can throw your name on it like 270 Winchester or 6.5 Remington Magnum, but they don't really patent the shape and that sort of thing. Wildcatters are always fooling around with that stuff, but this particular guy was smart enough to make a patent application specifying all these different things that say this is a patent, you can't infringe it. And the lawyers looked at it and said, I think this new WSM is infringing it. So rather than going through all the happy horse manure involved in a big lawsuit like that, I think Winchester just settled. And part of that settlement was that they would have to pay royalties every time they made a rifle chambered for that, or maybe even every time they built ammunition. I don't remember exactly how it shook out. But the upshot was they just said, let's just drop it. So they quit chambering rifles for it. I think they still make the ammunition. And I think you probably can. Well, I know you can get a custom rifle chamber for it. Just get the reamer and, and remount that chamber for it. And you've got a 270 WSM. And you can buy your ammo. Be a little more expensive because of that royalty thing, I, I imagine. But to start hand loading it, no big deal anymore. But that's, I think, why it's not more popular. I think it probably would have been if they hadn't had that glitch, kind of a fly in the ointment, but it still is a great cartridge. Now, interestingly, there's the 6.8 a Western, uh, the Westerner, this new one from Winchester, a couple of years ago they came out with, which is the 270 WSM with the shoulder pushed back a little bit. So you have a little bit less powder reservoir, but they increased the rifling twist rate chambered in those so you can shoot 165 grain bullets 170 175 i think um, it's the bullet length of course that makes you have to have a faster rifling twist in order to stabilize that bullet it's not just the weight it's the length so there is essentially your 270 wsm with a modern fast twist barrel that may be where you want to go so if you have the 270 WSM, I would say stick with it. Use a 150 grain bullet and um, the fastest, well, the longest, highest BC 150 you can get. Push it to top velocities and you'll do as well with that as far as wind deflection and dropping things, your trajectories. As the 6.8, you'll just be riding right on the heels of that one. But if it's easier for you just to pick up a new rifle in 6.8 Westerner, I'd go that route because I've used it and it is uh, it is not a screamer of all screamers, but it's more than fast enough with those high BC bullets to reach way out there and wonderfully accurate in the rifles that I tested. Mm -hmm. 